Hey guys, it's Mo from Mo Reads It, and welcome to my reading goals for 2023. We survived 2022. We made it. I'm happy. 2022 was my first year of having a booktube officially. It was epic. I did not think I was going to stay as consistent as I did, but I'm happy that I did. And it's going to reflect in my 2023 goals. But for my 2022 goals, did I even hit the mark? Did I do it? For most of them, it's a no, which I kind of should have expected since it's my first booktube ever, but I shot for the stars and I fell among, I don't know, the atmosphere? I don't know. So overall, I made 101 videos for 2022. That's amazing, that's crazy. Imagine spending 101 videos, hours and hours of editing, madness. But I'm happy I did it. My goal was to make at least 100 books, make 100 videos for the year, so at least I hit that goal. This year's goal for 2023 is to post at least one video every single week. I feel like some weeks I was really strong in 2022. Like I would post like three, maybe four videos a week. And then there are weeks where I like posted nothing, which is pretty much like the tail end of 2022, unfortunately. But my goal this year is to be more consistent weekly instead of consistency in like chunk times. Next was to have a book club. So I kind of have like this mini book club going on with my best friend. She loves reading just like I do. But we haven't been on it in the past few months because both of us are kind of in a reading slump. So I kind of have a book club, but I kind of don't. And I kind of want to have a bigger book club because we don't all like the same books. And I feel like having a bigger book club, there's more diversity in reading. So for like genres and stuff and adventures and types of books and types of writing. So I want a bigger book club ultimately. Goal number three. I want to read 67 books in 2023. We did the whole 100 books in 2022 and that was cool and all, but I feel like I did not do enough in my everyday life. Note, I was ill and I was staying at home a lot because of COVID and life was just very different. But I feel like I should venture out more in life and not just stay reading books. So my goal for next year, well, for 2023 is 67 books in one year. I definitely think I can hit this goal. I've done 100 books in a year and the year prior to this I think I read 69 books and I had started in March so I have high hopes for this goal and I think I can meet it. Next goal. Eventually I get a Fairy Loot adult book subscription. I feel like I'm missing out even though like a lot of them have been like non-good hitters. Some of them have hit it out of the park. I regret not having uh, spells of spells to forgetting if I think by Adrian Young and the Babylon version of the fairy loot adult book I have the Limercrate version which is amazing and epic but I really wish I had the fairy loot version as well and this next goal is actually gonna surprise you guys but um my goal is to read more contemporary romance I know we're all surprised I don't like contemporary romance I have said that multiple times but there's something about having it as a palette cleanse regularly that does something for my fantasy romance when I do read it I feel like I can appreciate it even more so that's my goal this year read more fantasy romance but incorporate contemporary romance as well and maybe I'll find my world of contemporary romance that I enjoy but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen I think they're just good pat cleanse they're fun to read it's a good one-off but like they don't excite me one of my other goals that I was actually able to accomplish this year was to get more into manga so in 2022 at the tail end when I was on that huge burnout of I don't want to read anymore reading slump I was able to get into manga and I think that was a revolutionary turning point in my reading slump so I'm hoping to continue that on into 2023 but my goal for 2023 is to get into more fantasy romance manga and not just my general animes that I liked that I just so happened to pick up the manga for to get out of a reading slump you know next will be officially start posting more regularly on my bookstagram and my book talk i finally have them i did not have them for the majority of my 2022 journey but i'm so happy i made them but i need to nurture them i need to give them care and content and post more regularly and engage with you guys on the community so that's my next goal and next of course i want to add 20 favorite shelf worthy books 
to my collection. That was my goal last year. For Shelf 40 books, I mean books that I will reread for the rest of my life. There are five star books or five star by default because they are part of like an accompanying novel or a series that is five stars for me that is Shelf 40. And I think I hit my goal this year of 20 books that are favorites for this year and are shelf worthy. But I wanna make a whole favorites video of 2022 for you guys. So I'll be doing my favorite 20 books of 2022 that are shelf worthy soon, but I'm happy that I got more shelf worthy books because nothing is better to me than comfort reading my favorite books over and over again. The next best thing is having an additional book written in the series or a spin-off series of a favorite book series because I just get to revisit my favorite characters over and over again and the adventure just never ends. Can you tell that I am a series gal? Overall, I just wanna build my book community and find more readers to talk to about books because ultimately that's what I love to do. I love talking about books. It's my favorite thing about reading actually. Talking about books, enjoying the adventure of reading the book and anticipating the next great book to come out. Ooh, and plus finding a next five star read. It's sometimes it's such a cherry pick hunt to find those five star reads, but when you find them. You're forever changed. Revolutionized. I've been revolutionized many times by books and I hope to continue doing it for the rest of my life. My next goal is for booktube as a whole. This year I really want to make it to 20k subscribers. That was my goal last year. That's my goal this year. I did not make it to 22k subscribers at the filming of this video. We're currently at 451 subscribers. And you know what? I'm pretty proud of that actually. Thank you guys so much for being here with me on this journey. Like it's been fun talking about books and ranting about books and being part of the book world. I've been enjoying myself thoroughly. I also really want to figure out what I'm going to do with my Kindle Unlimited subscription. I really love reading books on audio and ebook when I'm already into the series and into the book. So I'm struggling because 90% of the time I want to ed uh, annotate those books that I want to like have for forever and forever because if I'm already really into a story then most likely I really want to annotate the story so I don't want to read them on Kindle because I can't physically annotate them but we shall see. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this Kindle in the description but my heart is leaning towards canceling it but then I have that one instance where I'm just like oh, but what if I start using it again? And those are all my reading goals for 2023. What are your reading goals? Tell me because I am planning out my 2023 to be epic. I want to have this immersive, like, amazing experience. I am feeling a lot better than I used to at the beginning of 2022. When I first started my booktube channel, I was so ill. But luckily, I have been slowly getting better. And honestly, I do still have really bad days, but it's been getting better. And I'm really happy for that. So. I'm excited to see life in 2023 and what it holds for me. What does it hold for you guys? So, wishing you five star reads all of 2023, at least like 30 of them, I hope. And happy reading, y'all. 